Good evening and welcome to Sunday Politics and Trust TV, your platform for everything politics, policy and governance. On this program, you get a chance to join the conversation and share your thoughts. I am Shafiu Suleiman. Tonight, we focus on the ongoing fight against terrorism and banditry in northern Nigeria, where recent developments are bolstering public confidence in the military's ability to restore peace. In Borno State, a significant breakthrough was achieved with the surrender of a key Boko Haram commander, marking another victory in the region's long battle with insurgency. Meanwhile, in Zamfara, security forces are pushing back against banditry, even as the security challenges remain heavily politicized. We will explore how these successes are reshaping the fight for peace and stability. To provide context and analysis, I am joined by Honorable Abdul Wahab Musa, a public policy commentator. He's also the Serikin Samarin Gerki Hausa. But before we engage in the conversation, let's take a break. We'll be back shortly. Thank you very much for staying with us on Sunday Politics. And we're back to engage in the conversation. Uh, but to set the stage, take a look at this video. The president has uh, expressed his desire to reshuffle his cabinet, and he will do it. I don't know whether he's going to do it before October 1, but he will surely do it. Uh, so that's what I will say. He has not given us any timeline when he wants to do it, but he will do it. He has expressed his plan. The president actually gave an order to all his ministers to go out there to speak about the activities of his government. Uh, some of them have been media shy, TV shy, radio shy, and he wants them to really overcome all that and go out there, speak about what they have been doing the past year. Because as, as he said, the feeling outside there, there are some, of the government, some people feel the government, the government is not doing anything. Well, to take it from that, uh, you know, um, Nigerians are very much anxious, waiting to see uh, the much talked about cabinet rejigging of the President Bola Tinubu. Uh, of course, uh, almost two years into this administration, Nigerians, uh, just like uh, uh, the spokesperson to Mr. President has said there, uh, are, are worried that they have, haven't seen much, you know, on ground. Uh, so there is a lot of uh, agitations uh, concerning um, what would follow in terms of uh, rejigging the cabinet of, of President Bola Tinubu. And of course, um, it is also coming on the heels of so much expectations, especially on the part of, um, um, I mean, the downtrodden, looking at, in particular, looking at uh, the northern part of the country, or the northwest in particular, where insecurity has become, um, you know, a daily occurrence. Um, I'm back in the studio, just like I said, we have Honorable Abdul Wahab Musa, a policy, a public policy commentator. He's also the Sir King Samar Ngarki Hausa. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for having me. All right. Um, you've heard it from uh, Mr. Bao Nanuga there, talking about, you know, uh, yes, the possibility of um, a cabinet reshuffle, and um, you know to track governance in in the last two almost two years now. Uh, what do you make up with the performance so far uh, in terms of I mean the general performance of the administration? Okay, uh, I think uh, let me talk first of all as Nigerian mm. because you are once a Nigeria, you are first a Nigeria before you become any other things that you are. Mm. And the more important thing we value most in our uh, in our existence is uh, is the country that belongs to us and how the country should be. Uh, when we are talking about this uh, uh, present administration that uh, lasted for two years. Mm, and, almost, uh, yeah. uh, almost two years, if I may say, mm. and also the activities of the administration. Uh, really, uh, by, by virtue of uh, the way things is happening, we can say they are doing their best, but the country is also demanding for more. 
because uh, definitely you, you know when you you, you 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 started your introduction started you were talking about uh, the issues of uh, insurgency banditry and what have you mm -hmm. and uh, when there is no peace in the country development mm -hmm. will never see where to stay mm -hmm. development and peace you know they work hand in hand mm -hmm. when there is peace there will be development and when there is development peace will come mm -hmm. definitely there is a lot of uh, uh, issues of banditry in the northwestern uh, Nigeria, most especially the states like uh, Zamfara, Kasina, uh, Kaduna, and uh, what have you. You can even mention Sokoto to some extent. Mm -hmm. And that exactly uh, mm -hmm. has, uh, to some extent, uh, put down the, the issues of development and uh, was unable to you know, meet up with exactly what we are expecting as Nigerians. Mm -hmm. But still, when you go to some other issues, like the you know these issues of insurgency started right from 2007 yeah. and uh, the during of uh, mm -hmm. the late president uh, Yaradua, mm -hmm. you know it keep on going until when the last administrations come into being and uh, they were able to mm -hmm. curtail the issues of uh, insurgency or Boko Haram from the uh, northeastern Nigeria and now it has moved. Uh, to, to the way northwestern uh, Nigeria. So mm -hmm. the government, they are trying their best and are also to, to see how they are going to cap out the economic issues of this country mm -hmm. despite the agitations of the citizens, you know, the hardship and what have you. Yeah, uh, just, just like, uh, you know, Ms. Bio has said, beyond the fact that some of the cabinet members, you know, ministers, uh, shy, you know, some of them hardly come on media. Uh, there has been a lot of concerns over time that people have, I mean, uh, this, um, I mean, um, uh, public office holders are not coming forward um, to either talk about what they are doing or depend or rather change the perspective uh, people have regarding the government that it is, it is not doing, I mean, enough. Uh, but if I get your position, I mean, in the northern part of the country, in, I mean, the northern Nigeria in particular, uh, there are key issues that are of, of concern. One of it is insecurity, insecurity. Uh, which, which is, which is um, you know, very obvious, how it undermines virtually everything, economy and so on and so forth. Now, in the last one and a half years, um, especially towards, I mean, in the last couple of weeks, Nigerians are beginning to see some, some changes. I mean... Um, coming with the um, some renewed vigor on the part of the, the administration to deal especially decisively with the issue of banditry in the northwest. Um, the, there's this relocation of the uh, the minister of defense, you know, alongside the the service chief. I mean, the the the, the command. I mean, uh, high, high command of the military and so on. Um, and perhaps they are beginning. I mean, Nigerians are beginning to see some actions. Um, key band, uh, bandit kingpins you know were taken out and all of that would you say that is ch beginning to change the narrative uh, let me first of all also start from the issues of uh, you know having a media chat and what have you so as to make the progress of the government known mm -hmm. uh, you see uh, sometimes yes it's true that through the media you win a war mm -hmm. but definitely if the government is working the work will speak for itself mm -hmm without using the media. Of course, it is important to tell the world through the media that you are working. Mm -hmm. But even if you did not, your work will tell itself. Mm -hmm. Like what you were saying, mm -hmm. the minister, uh, the, the president, uh, Ahmed Bola Tunubu, gave a directive that the, the Ministry uh, uh, of Defense should move mm -hmm. to the north, uh, Northwest, and specifically to mm -hmm. Sokoto. Mm -hmm. And uh, you see, when they move, according to that directive, when they move, there were a lot of achievement mm -hmm by their moving. They are able to, 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 to kill some of the campaigns, the likes of uh, uh, Halilu Subulu, uh, his associate, the likes of Baleri, mm -hmm. Kachala, ETC. Mm -hmm. You know, it's as a result of the will of the presence that asks the defense to move. And the defense, through the Minister of Defense, this uh, the, 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 the junior minister, state minister of defense, mm -hmm. which is uh, in person of uh, uh, Matawali, they are able to move, get into the, 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 the bush where the campaign are hiding. Mm -hmm. They were able to move there. And when they did, there were a lot of achievements without yeah. using the media. Even you know, though some will say perhaps they, 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 they provide the necessary leadership, but they are not actually at the front line and so on. Of course, but uh, who brought the policy? Hmm. Who directs the military? 
Who directs the chiefs? Do this, don't do that. Who gives out the budget without misappropriating the budget? Who do this, who do that? It's the, it's the leadership. Hmm. So that is the reason why, you know, the, a, a scholar says, when you make a philosopher, philosopher king a leader, hmm. you will definitely see a progress. But if you do contrary, you will see the contrary. Hmm. God forbid. But now, by using the leaders, such as Matawale and the rest, hmm. we are now seeing the progress in terms of dealing with the issues of insecurity in Nigeria, most especially in the northern Nigeria as we speak. Yeah, but some will, you know, will, will ask, you know, why now? Why have they, t I mean, they have taken this long to, to, to do the needful? In terms, some say the government has been dilly-dallying over time, you know, a, a couple of, also coupled with the politicization of the whole security issue, especially in the northwest, particularly in Zamfara, for instance. You see, in that issues of security, there were a lot of challenges. I could remember one certain time, former uh, governor of Kaduna State was uh, having a press briefing. Uh, somebody from, uh, 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 if I can remember, uh, Amnesty, or is it Amnesty International. International, or what have you, wants to speak to him, and he shot him down mm. and says, whatever we want to do, mm. you will start agitating for human rights. Mm. That we are mm. violating human rights. Mm. And what he says is exactly the truth. Mm. Not just human rights. Even the Western world will provide a kind of a security gadget, but they will give you a, 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 a kind of condition on how to use it. Mm. For whatever yes. you are doing in fighting there, there are, security. I mean, there, there are terms of engagement. Of course, of, yeah. of course. Sometimes you have to be very careful in order not to fall victim of mm. being accused that you are human right violation, attacking yeah. human rights, uh, this and that and what mm. have you. But really, more also, sometimes uh, when the right people are not at the right position, mm. you might not see exactly what you're supposed to see. Mm. But when you bring the right people at the right position, you will definitely see the progress and you will see exactly what you are expecting. Uh, but, but do you think uh, perhaps, you know, the, the politicization of the whole thing, um, I mean, insecurity in particular, may have undermined the previous efforts to address the problem. And because some say, especially um, looking at, I mean, the, the recent altercations between two leaders, you know, a former governor and the current governor accusing each other of involvement in, you know, uh, uh, banditry and so on. Uh, it, it left much to be desired as to, you know, what exactly is happening uh, in respect to I mean, the synergy also in respect to the, um, the will and, of course, the sincerity, uh, uh, you know, on the part of the, the, the leaders. I think uh, the issues of uh, fighting security is a collective responsibility. We like it or we don't like it. In our country, we must come collectively, both the leaders and the followers, hmm. definitely. And uh, in the wisdom of uh, Ahmed Bola Tenebu, uh, he was able to choose from the west northwestern nigeria mm. amongst their son who wants to become a governor mm. not just being a governor or some someone who cares much about security issues mm. but you know the differences of political party or what have you that made the present governor of zamfara state mm. to be given a kind of different alteration that does not need to come from him mm. that we were expect him to support the minister being a very good minister that walk up and down helped us culture to see how we, they are going to he is going to resolve the issues of security insecurity in nigeria most especially the zones he comes from but the Dauda and his supporters mm. or sponsors were unable to give that kind of synergy the support that's needed at mm. last they were given a kind of a false alteration that will undermine mm. the fight against uh, insecurity and it will also be a problem but still as a very good uh, former governor as a very good minister as a very good po politician and also a philo philosopher king mm. that still he still achieves beyond expectations yeah. and probably if given more chance mm. he will do better yeah but but some are also looking at it from the point of view of the fact that um, most of these things because if you look at it in recent time you know some of these ministers are beginning to show their faces you know doing certain things um to earn you know the confidence of the people and also to earn the confidence of 
the, the, the president himself, you know, a number of them have been engaging in, I mean, aggressively engaging in one thing or the other, perhaps looking at um, the fact that, you know, uh, the president is also uh, considering reshuffling, if you like, or redigging the, the, the entire team. Uh, so some are beginning to, uh, even though you know, some will say there are those that are visible, very much visible, people will know them by the work they do. But a number of them were seen to have, you know, are, are beginning to wake up from their slumber. Uh, you see, uh, of course the president is a very rooted politician. Mm. The president is a very wise man. Mm. And the Nigerians as well are very wise. Mm. So if at last, by mentioning the reshuffling of uh, 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 ministers, mm. and someone will feel like, let me stand up to my responsibility. Mm. The president knows what you are doing from day one. And the president has been watching mm. whoever has been appointed as a minister or given any responsibility to act upon. The president has been watching you. Mm. And the Nigerian has been watching you. Mm. And the world as well has been watching you. So for you to just wake up one day, just because you just want to feel like, let me participate or let me act mm. and stand to my responsibility so as I can be probably appoint mm. or reappointed mm. as a minister. No, that will not work. But mm. for those that have been working from day one mm. to today, we know them yeah. as Nigerians. Mm. The president know them as the leader of the country and also other uh, 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 other uh, 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 authorities have been watching whatever they are doing yeah. and what they deserve. Yeah. Who will say what they deserve and the president will do what is right. Right. Uh, you know, the twin, you know, some will say uh, more in the north, it's more like a twin problem. Um, a twin problem, you know. We have the issue of insecurity, which substantially um, give birth also to the current state of poverty, you know, unemployment, and so on and so forth. <clears throat> because the concern is, you know, um, beyond the insecurity which has prevented people from even going to farms to, uh, to farm what, to, what they will eat, again, it has also crippled the economy. So, um, but then, looking at the handlers of, of the economy, you still find people uh, who are taken from this part of the country. Uh, like the Minister of Budget and National Planning or so, has also come from the northwest. So, I mean, the expectations are, if you are coming from a particular, I mean, region that is disadvantaged, and you are chosen, uh, you, you talked about how Matawale perhaps was chosen from Zamfara, uh, you know, the hotbed of the banditry, uh, I mean, to, to, to the defense ministry perhaps to add value. Um, and then we also have someone who is very key in the economic team. But how would you rate, you know, the level of, I mean, I mean, the, the performance in terms of addressing, I mean, uh, poverty uh, level in the north? Just as I said earlier, <clears throat> without peace, there will never be a development. You know, uh, the poverty and uh, the unemployment is mm -hmm. also an, a, a kind of uh, a factors for under development. Mm, yeah, they are linked. They yeah. are linked, of course. There is no how you can separate them. Uh, really, to, to a very large extent, mm. farming is the activities of people from the northwestern Nigeria. And these issues of uh, banditry has kind of, to a very large extent, uh, I know, stopped, uh, uh, if not uh, 75 to 80 percent uh, farming activities in the uh, northwestern Nigeria. But as we were saying, you know, if you are able to, you know, as they were trying their best to fight the insecurity. Mm. The people will now be returning back to farm. Mm. And as well, the, acti the economic activities will be growing. But if they are unable to go to the farm, mm. they, will, they will now, you know, they will fail to, you know, to progress in the times of, uh, you know, uh, economic activities. Mm. But the Minister of uh, Planning, Mm. As, you, as you know, in mm. Nigeria, is from the uh, northern Nigeria, mm. uh, they were doing, you know, their best, you know, kind of trying to see how they will assist the farmers, trying to see how they will assist the uh, small-scale business, business, businesses and what have you. So by doing so, they will upgrade mm. the yeah. economic of uh, Nigeria, most especially from that uh, uh, zone 
mm. uh, northwest uh, zone of uh, our country. But, but still, we can say mm -hmm. to a very little extent, mm -hmm. we are seeing a progress. Okay, there is little progress coming, uh, very little, I mean, too little, too slow, perhaps coming kind you know, of. On, on that, from that direction. But, yeah. uh, but, but then, before now, you know, uh, the, the, uh, perhaps due to the public outcry, and also concerns around underperformance of the government. Um, the president uh, appointed, um, you know, a former, um, a former minister, you know, talking about Hadiza Bala Usman, now to head a particular unit that is saddled with the responsibility of tracking the performance of this um, ministerial uh, yeah, cabinet. A result has been submitted, so to speak, and then uh, the expectations are that Mr. President will act on it. Yeah. But there are also concerns around people who are also making efforts, you know, to undermine what others are doing. You know, we, we talked about something earlier on, of course. you know, people going, going to the media perhaps to disparage or to undermine a certain effort. And also, we are beginning to see, um, I mean, also Nigerians are also waiting to see what will happen, whether Mr. President would act on this report or, you know, jettison it to do what suits him. Uh, as they say, it's his prerogative to decide who stays or who goes, you know. You see, one of the factors that uh, sometimes kill the, the country or some of the, you know, uh, activities of the country is uh, this politics. Mm. But really, there is no how democracy move without politics. Mm. You see, as I said earlier, President Ahmed Bola Tinubu is a very rooted politician. Mm. Not just that, he is a wise man. Mm. By appointing Hadiza Bala Usma mm. to monitor the activities or the affairs of most of the cabinet, mm. he meant well for himself and the country. Mm. Because he wants to see who is performing better mm. for the persons to yeah, be there. There is a performance tracker, you know, there is, but, uh, yes, there are indices. There, of course, but what I was trying to say is mm. that, but despite that, as Nigerians, there will be lobbying here and there. Mm -hmm. That, you know, even if you are not performing, you want to be reappointed mm. again. Or you want to be moved for, forward. But what we are saying is that the president will work on exactly the report given to him by Hadiza Bala Usman. Mm. And also the president will listen to Nigerians that mm. who is doing better and who is not doing better, of mm. which perhaps he must have hired mm. from Nigerians. Mm. And president would definitely act on that. Mm. But if we are to mention, mm. we have seen it out there, mm. that the label at which some of the ministers are going, mm. You don't need to do without them. Okay. You can even give them a, a, a better positions mm. to have a very holistic mm. uh, 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 action so as to deal with exactly the issues we are talking about. Mm. Like so, so, for instance, yeah. So if if, if uh, you know as a Nigerian, yeah. you know uh, the the team that was assigned to uh, uh, assess the performance, you know, uh, based on the. Um, I mean, the the you know there are there there is a benchmark you know set up for for the ministerial cabinet you know to achieve certain parameters of performance. So um, you know it is along that line that they are perhaps rated or perhaps uh, uh, reviewed or I mean tracked in terms of performance. But then Nigerians also have their own view. As a Nigerian, if you are asked you know to pinpoint you know what are those areas that have been active, you know, in the last one and a half year or, or getting to two years now? <sighs> Let me say security first. Okay. Why, sec why security? But why, we're still having why? people being killed here and there. Of, of, Communities also being sacked. Of sucked. course, all over. It's a global phenomenon. People kill here and there. It's a global phenomenon. Mm. But the rate at which people are killed mm. is reducing drastically. Sometimes you will look at it from, the, from, the, from this perspective that people are killed. Mm. And those that kill mm. will not be found. Mm. But today, people, of course, people are killed. Mm. Whenever you kill, mm. 
you will be found and you will be killed as well. Mm. So, so like for some... instance, I mentioned action is being taken. Action yeah. is being taken very serious. Mm. Was, it lady, like it, was it like it before? My lady has been existing for a long period of time. Mm. Halil Subulu has been existing for a very long period of time. Yeah, fact, and they have been perpetrating the their acts. Yeah, they, they want but today, as we are talking, mm. it's not in existence anymore. Mm. The minister mm. has made his appointment with his creator. He will go and face the creator. Mm. The minister Mm. has been walking up and down. But it's not just about see, one man, you know, we have even the ministers. Uh, uh, coincidentally, they are all from the north. The, the, the substantive minister is also from, from the, the north. And the state minister, of Jigawa, course, Jigawa. And then you have other key, you know, security, like the uh, chief security, na national security advisor is also from the north, you know. Of course. You have... Others like even uh, Musa is also from the north, yeah. Aduna Northwest. Yeah, that, that's it, well. that's the chief of defense staff. Of course, so if you look at the conglomerate of these people and um, the quantum of achievement, do you think um, you know it is commensurate to some, to some extent? Okay. Why did I say this? Is because we still have mm. at least time mm. for them to take more action. Yeah. But for what, what, what they were doing presently, yeah. at least if given achieve. more chance, what they were able to achieve, they will achieve more than that. Mm -hmm. But for you to think that in totality for mm -hmm. their coming, they should quarter mm -hmm. the issues of insecurity that has been existing for a long period of time. Mm -hmm. Yes, agreed. As Nigerians, we would like that. Mm -hmm. But if you do justice, mm -hmm. if you do justice, mm -hmm. as they say, peace. Mm -hmm. It's a child of intercourse between justice and truth. Mm. So let's do justice to them. Mm. That they are doing their best. And if, if given more chance mm. or better opportunity, mm. they will do better. So which, which other sector beyond security? Especially, uh, I talked about poverty earlier, which is also deepening. You know, um, people uh, can no longer afford, you know, necessities of life. Food, you know, has become very difficult for people to access. Hunger is ravaging the people, and so on. So, in that, in that respect, would you say there is any progress being made? To a very large extent, there is. Okay. You see, uh, this administration comes into being as a, at a period where there are a lot of challenges. Mm. A lot of challenges in the sense you know, the issues of petroleum, mm. PMS, which yeah, are... But, but they are also responsible for that. Because, yeah. uh, you know, it's a product Res of the policy Res option they've taken. Of, that is removal of course, of course, but without removing the subsidy, the country will be permanently indebted. Mm. So, so, so if instead of getting being permanent... debt now? Of course, to, you, because without the, paying... The, without paying debt. Even recently, there was also an attempt to get... Paying the subsidy, without sub paying the subsidy, mm. that particular money is used for something different, more important. Mm. And as when mm. but the debt... But Nigerians are seeing the result, because that is what is fundamental. They are, let's say they are seeing the result because of the pain. Mm. When you are having a fracture mm. and it's been going to take taken care of, mm. you will feel the pain. And without the pain, you will not see it again. That pain, mm. by God's grace, is coming with a very serious uh, 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 again. Yeah, but Nigerians have been hearing this you know, they've been, they've been told course. to endure and all of that. <laughs> and they're yet to see, you know, they've always, always been told that there is light at the end of the tunnel. At the tunnel, of course. <laughs> but and they're uh, yet to see the and light. And Nigerians say they are yet to see the light. Mm. But the light is very close to them. Okay. And just You're optimistic. a little, pa very mm. optimistic. Just okay. a little patient. Mm. We are close to the light. Okay. We, we, we get to hear from Nigerians. We, that, that is the beauty of the program, you know. Um, we are going to expand the conversation now. Let's hear from Nigerians. Their assessment of the administration and, you know, its cabinet. And perhaps they are, um, I mean, their judgment so far as to which sector is making any progress. Uh, the line will soon be open and uh, you can call in and also share your thought with us. We're tracking governance, uh, of course, um, along the line of uh, rumored, not rumored per se, you know, uh, it is confirmed that President um, Bola Metunobu may likely reshuffle his cabinet. Some say maybe we get to hear that during the October 1st um, um, speech.
and yeah, some say a day after and so so but then the, the, the op i mean the, the the conversation around the country is about you know perhaps seeing some level of changes in the administration and so you can call in and share your thought with us uh, that the sectors you think are performing uh, the cabinet members you think they are also making impact uh, and of course those that are also uh, lagging behind um, and whether you know mr president should uh, I mean, begin to think of uh, changing, you know, the guards at Change. this point in time. Um, so we can call in and share your thought. Uh, but before we get the call, you know, um, yeah, some say it is even too early, perhaps, to begin to talk about. Okay, I think we have a caller. Hello, good evening. Good evening. Hello, good evening. Hello, hello, good evening. Yes, you have to speak up, please. My name is Kasim Wanda from Bauchi. Kasim from Bauchi. Bauchi, okay, Kasim, go ahead. Yeah, my contribution is about uh, how the schedule of the It's for me, mm. for my own. So all the ministers have to be changing because these ministers are not doing anything. Okay. Because so why? Yeah, there's nothing that they have done when in Nigeria they will be appreciated with it. We, mm. don't, we didn't see anything. Mm. But I want to call the the guest. The way you are talking that Nigeria will be appreciated the, during this uh, remember of subsidy. Because the remember of subsidy last year, we are buying for 187 naira. Now we are buying 1,000 plus. Mm. Where, is the, where, is, where is the appreciated that Nigeria will appreciate in the next? We have to see before. When, now, now we tell there's, there's uh, Problem between L and Bongote and NNPC. What they appreciated when Nigeria were appreciated. We didn't see anything for this government. Please. Mm -hmm. We are begging the president. Mm -hmm. Let us do what they could be appreciated. Okay. We don't like so people who don't sit down the television saying people don't appreciate. We want to hear from the president. We didn't vote them. We vote the president. Please. Mm -hmm. People are dying for hunger. People are dying for suffering. Okay. Please. Thank you. Thank you, my right, Thank you very much, uh, Kasim. Uh, Kasim share his thoughts, and uh, for him, you know, it should be a total overhaul. Anyway, <laughs> he, yeah, he's entitled to his opinion. We have another caller. Uh, hello, good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Yes, who do we have on the line? Uh, this one from Kichuku from Ebony State. Okay, to crew from Ibony. So thank you very much for joining us. Uh, let's let's hear let's hear your thoughts. All right. Uh, first of all, I want to appreciate God for Nigeria turning sixty-four next mm -hmm. month. Uh, despite the hardship, the mm -hmm. insurgents and the rest of it, mm -hmm. we are still surviving. Yeah. Nigeria is still living. I appreciate God for that. Yeah. Then for the talk tonight, mm. um, the shuffling the cabinet by Mr. Presidency, mm. uh, to me, is not that necessary. What I think he should do is to look into the withdrawal work, look into the people he appoints. Look into what they have done and their parties and make little change, changes. Oh. For instance, Minister of Finance, you see, since he came on board, and even the CBN government itself, they, they have been inflation, Naira, uh, uh, Naira to dollar inflation, you see it. You should look into the, the, those areas. Minister of Defense, Interior, these are the areas. Agric. Mm. Hunger is strike is killing everybody now. Mm. These are some of the areas I see personally as a Nigerian. Yeah. That Mr. President should look into. If those ones are not capable of doing the job, he should employ S parties. Yeah. Then, but notwithstanding, that is not a problem of Nigeria. That's not where our problem began. Our problem began as soon as we removed flat subsidies. Which should have had a plan before such subsidy remover, mm. not replacing it with a palliative. How long will it feed Nigerians? How long will governors feed, feed Nigerians? Mm. You understand? Right. 
Okay. Thank you very so, much, uh, Okay, Chuku. That's my day tonight. Right. God thank, bless you. Thank you very much for sharing your thoughts with us. We get Chuku there and uh, talking about, um, you know, what uh, Nigerians uh, feel the most. Uh, which is hunger, insecurity, just like we've been talking and according about. According to him, he related uh, yeah. to the removal of fuel subsidies. Yes, um, and, uh, you know, it, it is tied to all that has been happening and so on and so forth. Okay, we have another caller. Hello, good evening. Hello, good evening. Hello, Hello good evening. Yes. Good evening, how are you doing? Uh, we are fine. Uh, where, who are you? And, um, what's your name and where are you calling from? I'm Alaji Omar from Katana. Okay, Alaji Omar from Katana. Please go ahead. Yeah. Um, you need to turn down the volume of their television set. It's, it's okay. re yeah, it's re echoing here. Yeah. yeah. Can you hear me now? Okay, go ahead. Um, a bit better. Mm. As the recent caller has said, our problem started from the rural full full mm. subsidy. Mm. Mm. Um, you, you can't do two things at the time. You have to start. I mean, just just shut down the TV so that uh, we can talk. Oh, okay. We lost the call. Uh, keep trying, and if you call, please try and uh, stay away from your television sets. Or better still, you can turn it down. Hello. Good evening. Hello. Hello. Good evening. Okay. I think we, I think we lost that again. Okay. Uh, you, you heard Nigerians talking about uh, what they feel about the entire administration. Um, a number of them, quite a number, are saying that they haven't seen anything tangible. To others, they believe uh, focus, attention should be um, on key areas of concern, you know, especially issue of hunger and so on and so forth. Uh, of course, uh, as I said earlier, you know, the last, or oh, second to the last speakers, uh, talked about. Uh, uh, the challenges started from the removal of uh, fuel subsidy. Mm. Uh, really, of course, uh, the pains started then. Mm. But the challenges started since before then. Mm. Because even as we are buying PMS mm. 195 per liter, mm. we still have a lot of challenges. But we sat on the challenges and claim as if mm. there were no challenges. You know, during the campaign uh, of uh, 2023 election, mm. almost all all the, yeah, uh, there, the, the candidates uh, among the presidential candidate candidates have all yes. insisted that they are going to remove fuel mm. subsidy. In short, one among them boldly says to Nigerians that not just removal of fuel subsidy, but he's going to sell the NNPC entirely. That will give him a better policy to give a better Nigeria. Mm. But as it happens, mm. Mm. on the day of inauguration, mm. the president's administrations fulfill one of their campaign promise, yeah. of which Peter Obi says the same things, mm. uh, uh, Tinubu Den says the same, the, mm. the same thing, Atiku says the same thing, Konkosu, almost all the yeah, candidates. But, but the, first, but, but the yeah. truth is that, excuse me, yeah. but the truth is that without removing the subsidy, we will keep going astray. Mm. We will be feeling as if things is better, yeah. but the way the country will mm. collapse, mm. all of us. Mm. But, but, but you had the first caller, I mean, is it the first caller who said, you know, um, he raised a fundamental issue that is, it is not just about removing the subsidy, uh, but then having something to address the aftershocks. Uh, he talked about, uh, you know, uh, the fact that palliatives would not work for Nigeria. He said, for how long would they continue? I mean, would the, would the government continue to, to feed Nigerians? Um, some are raising this concern that Nigerians have been turned to beggars now. They will have to go cap in hand you know, looking for some, I mean, uh, um, palliatives that are also not forthcoming, that are also not enough. You see, Should Nigerians go through this dehumanizing you see, process? There was a policy before the coming of these administrations. And the policy is like this. Let's produce what we eat and eat what, what we, we grow. produce. Yeah. And that resulted to going back mm. to the farming activities. Mm. But as we go, as, we, as Nigerians went back to the farm, Boom, mm. banditry started. Mm. So now, it's a good policy agreed. The border mm. was closed. Mm -hmm. People went back to the farm mm. and banditry started. Mm. You understand? So as a result of that, has been, yes, as of, has been there, but yeah. at least coming in, the, in this number, mm. at least it started yeah. during the presence, uh, the pre mm. uh, period of uh, President uh, Muhammadu Buhari. Mm. So as that, 
a lot of things keep happening. A lot of things keep happening. And this president's administration are still working day and night. Help us, help us to see how they are going to solve this problem. Mm -hmm. And once this problem is solved, mm -hmm. the famine will continue. And the removal okay. of the pain of this removal of subsidy, mm -hmm. of course, we give will it. subside. Okay, that, that has been the hope, actually. Uh, okay, I think we have a caller. I don't know whether he will agree or disagree with you. Hello, good evening. Good evening. Hello. Yes, good evening. Uh, good evening, sir. How are you? Fine. Your name or where uh, you are? My name is. My name is. Yeah, I am it. I'm calling from Gombe. Okay, I am it. Go ahead, please. Uh, I had to all what the speaker have said. Hmm. Uh, honestly speaking, in this country now, majority of the people are hungry. Hmm. Nobody will doubt about it. Hmm. And uh, to me, that removal of subsidy by Mr. President, hmm. before that removal, maybe the government should have changed of other things mm. that they will come to augment the suffering of that removal of that loan subsidy. Mm. But now, for long, they have been saying we will see improvement. But mm. for how long? Mm. You know, a hungry man is an angry man. Mm. Maybe some of you that were talking, you can eat the three square meals. Majority of Nigerians now, let me tell you, mm. they are sleeping with hunger. That is the truth of the matter. And most people in this country, they were turned to beggar. Mm. Even people that will say they are capable, honestly speaking, they are not capable. Mm. Please. Oh, okay. The government let, should do much about it. Yes, this let, is my submission. Uh, let, me, let me get your thoughts. Um, yeah, talking about hunger, there are a number of ministries perhaps tied to this. We have Ministry of Agriculture, mm. for instance. We have the economy, uh, budget and planning, and so on. It all revolves around you know how the government can fight hunger uh, by i mean i mean um, ensuring there is food security what is your rating of some of these key ministries that can address this problem are you there Hello? yes yes I'm here. yes what would you say uh, yes in the ministry, the effort of the ministry. Those ministries that can help address this issue of hunger, uh, talking about agriculture, for instance, the issue of agri uh, economy, that is, uh, those handling the economy, what do you think they are doing to alleviate this uh, problem? You see, what they are doing, the palliatives cannot go around. You see, the government has been doing a lot. We know that they have been trying their best. But looking at the population of this country with over 2 million people, Palliatives will not go around mm. because the situation it was so devastating, mm. and the uh, palliative cannot go around. Right. Given palliatives, maybe 25 kg of rice mm. to a household that will take them maybe three days or four days. Yeah. When we give it to them for the remaining days in a month, how do you think they will want it? So, to me, they have been doing it, but it is not adequate. Okay. They should do more. Okay, they should do more. Thank okay, you. perhaps that's the reason why there is need for some rejigging. You know, I'm um, coming back to you. <laughs> you said something earlier about um, growing what we eat and, and eating what we grow and all of that is a policy, and then that push people back to farms. And we have a Ministry of Agriculture. We are now tracking governance, looking at the performances of the ministers. What would you say in respect to what the Ministry of Agriculture and Food Security is doing? That's one. Economy, you know. Uh, the concern is that um, the economy is dwindling. Inflation is on the rise and all of that, you know, the value of the Naira has dwindled and all of that, you know, and so on. So what, what's your rating of these two key ministries, for instance? Uh, let me start with the Ministry of Agriculture. Hmm. The Ministry of Agriculture, to a very little extent, they are working, hmm. but they're concentrated more on the mm. issues of uh, giving out palliatives and what have you. Mm. I think the ministry should give more concentrations mm. to the activities of farming, not just in the uh, northwestern Nigeria and other parts of the country. Mm. You see, not just uh, growing uh, crops and what have you, 
Mm. There is uh, other way of farming. Mm. There is, uh, you know, a lot of things on how to, you know, give more concentrations on the activities of farming. Mm. And there are some other countries that relied on the issues of farming only, without mm. having oil and any other mm. uh, things to, to sustain themselves, but they only use farming. Mm. And this farming issue, it's not necessarily one must go to the bush mm. before you farm. Mm. There are modern systems of farming, yeah. and you can farm anywhere. Mm. So let the ministry concentrate more mm. on enlightening Nigerians and giving uh, other support mm. on how to, you know, embark on the activities of farming. Okay, the and economy. more also, let me say, they are doing well, but they should add up yeah. or a better hand. The economy, right. But the economy, you know, the, 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 just as I said earlier, the issues of, uh, you know, economic going down is a global phenomenon. Mm. And, uh, you know, Nigerians were more like a dollarized country. Mm. Mm. You see, and uh, to a very large extent, if I may, if I may advise, mm. we should reduce the way and manner we depend on dollar. Because mm. once dollar check, mm. It affects, current, it affects the country. So the dollarization of the economy has... Uh, of course, to a very large extent, affected... Extent affect the, okay, let me get your last line here, because we're rounding up. If you were the president, um, what would you do? You have this number of ministers. Where do you think need to be rejected? Who do you think need to go, perhaps, and all of that? Uh, if I should be the minister... Mm. And the president. Yeah. Uh, I mean, sorry, the president. Yeah, very quickly. Yeah. And uh, to concentrate on the this uh, shuffling of the Cabinet. ministry. Mm. There are, you know, from this, uh, I will mm. give more concentrations on the minister, Ministry of uh, mm. uh, Defense. Mm. They are doing well. Mm -hmm. Probably I can, from one from the uh, state mm. minister to be a substantial minister mm. or to go higher because of the way and manner mm. the state minister is performing. Mm. And also, I will also concentrate on the Ministry of Works. Because you know, to when the ministry, when this uh, government come on board, mm. the activities of Ministry of, of Works mm. has not been you know openly seen. Okay. They are working, yeah. but not They're openly. Not being publicized. Of course, of course. Okay. And also some other ministries like uh, uh, finance, like uh, budget and planning and what have you. I will also give more concentration, but agriculture. Mm -hmm. agriculture mm -hmm. that brought hardship to Nigerians, mm -hmm. a lot of hunger that everybody is complaining right. about hunger. Mm -hmm. I think I will give more priority mm -hmm. to that particular ministry so as to curtail oh. the issues of hunger. Oh, okay, so yeah, I, if I get the summary, you focus on security, you focus on food security, you focus on economy. economy Thank course. you very much uh, for talking to us, uh, Honorable Abdullah Musa, a public policy commentator, uh, also the second Samaring King Hausa. Thank you very much for joining us tonight. Th thank you once again for having me. And, and viewers, uh, to some of you who have called in to share their thoughts, we also appreciate you. And to the rest of the technical team, my name is Shafiwa Suleiman, thanking you for being there.